I decided to write Medically Important Fungi, A Guide to Identification, because I realized that there was no book in the field at all that really explained a guide to identification. How to identify the organism and bring the reader, and myself at the time, to a good identification. I wasn't that proficient at the time. This was 1974 in mycology, and so I wanted to have a way to go in the laboratory from looking at an organism, both macroscopically and microscopically, and being able in a step-by-step -step procedure to get to an identification. The target audience is really anyone who works in a clinical microbiology or any laboratory that might need to identify fungi that are the same as what we would see in a clinical lab because we also have to identify a lot of environmental organisms. So I know that a lot of environmental laboratories use it, so do very many dermatologists and, and pathologists. Medically important fungi guides a person step by step to an identification. Most of it is, although there are plenty of words, the major thing is that there are drawings and photomicrographs in each step of the process. Starting from the very beginning of the book, you find the organisms that are very similar, placed close to one another on a page that you can quickly compare by the small drawings and by the colors of the colony, what is the likely identification of the organism just for starters, and then you're led to, a, to the pages where you can further compare the organisms which appear to be similar and possible correct answers. Well, I'd like the readers to ultimately take away a good identification from the book, which will be easy for them. And also, mainly, actually, to learn to really be comfortable with mycology, have confidence that they can identify an organism, and really grow to love doing it instead of having a sort of repulsive feel feeling to it that many people have because they don't feel competent. So that it will really build confidence in the reader is my goal. And from what I've heard from readers, it is what it does for them.